Minecrafters, welcome back to the channel. Or to the channel if you're new here and to episode 26 in our Medieval Minecraft mod pack series. So I was a bit busy between episodes and I got some stuff done that I'm going to show you. And of course, we're going to go explore a nice big dungeon. So grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever it is that you get for while you watch videos. And let's get on with the fun. Alrighty, so I finally, I finally did it. I finally set up the storage system. Now I'm going to show you down below how it looks and everything in a second here and the beacon over there and all that stuff and explain everything. But yeah, just look at this. It's so empty. It feels so empty. Obviously this, I'm not staying here. I'm going to be showing you uh, very shortly where I figured out where I'm going to be living and all the things that I'm planning with it. But yeah, so down here, Tom's simple storage is great. So you run the inventory trims these are these inventory trims here you can run it down now you don't have to attach it to every chest which is the mistake i've made before i have it run all behind these bottom chests here i was able to do five wide and eight high and same over here five wide eight high and these are massive by the way so um we had plenty of these this is good for our temporary storage for now and yeah so those are all set up i didn't need to dye these inventory trims because this is just down below so this is all down here and this is running up here to this guy here to the inventory connector which the crafting terminal is attached to and this is actually an inventory trim here which is dyed with the paintbrush so this guy here if you want to know how to use it you crouch and you right click on a block and you'll see paint kit cobblestone and the one i have is the stripped ebony log so that's what that's dyed to so it's uh really handy to be able to do that especially if you have it in an area where you don't want them to be seen so it's really 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 cool and yeah, it's really that simple. Now, um, <laughs> so you see me pressing V to open my wireless controller. So this is it right here. I had that made, obviously. You guys have seen me get the, um, what are they called? Oh my God, the nether stars <laughs> and stuff like that. So this guy right here is really important. And if you want to connect it to your system, you crouch and right click and it'll bind it. And then there you go. So when you open the menu of this, you'll see on the side here, Again, I have explained in a previous episode that in the config files, I have turned the beacon level requirement for having the wireless remote throughout the world to beacon level one, specifically because of the size of it, because of where you have to place it in conjunction with the uh, crafting or the um, inventory connector. So I'll explain that, but I, I did end up getting rid of a ton of iron blocks to make up for what I would have needed for a tier three beacon, but it is only a tier one beacon because it has changed. So you'll see if you have it hooked up correctly, you'll see a beacon here. It'll tell you that it's accessible anywhere with the advanced wireless terminal. And you make that by making a wireless terminal and then making an advanced one with another right ingot. Easy peasy. You should have all that those, those materials by this point anyways, because I mean, we're in episode 26. I'm, I'm, I'm very far behind, so you'll probably have it way before I do. But let's go check out the beacon. I'm trying to get through this as quick as possible so I'm not babbling for, you know, an extensive part of this episode because I have somewhere I want to go explore today. And I don't want this episode to be a million hours long. So here's the beacon. I have beacon beams turned off. You can do that in your uh, video settings. I believe it's... Um... I can't remember where it is. Here we go. Under render, you can do beacon beam and turn that off. I love fabric. <laughs> but yeah, so that's not driving me bonkers. And under here, it's just a uh, a tier one iron uh, three by three. But yeah, so that's close enough to the inventory connector. I think it's nine blocks it has to be or something like that. So it's keeping it active, which is nice. And yeah, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So that's all done. So now we just hit V. It's in our, what, what slot is this? Or it's going to be in this slot. It's a belt, I think. Hey, just stick it there. Easy peasy. I love it. And one other update is we have another... Oh, I almost went in the portal. Uh, Debbie, thank you so much for the $15. I really appreciate it. And you actually have an axolotl as well to match your, your sign. Go over here. Hopefully this little bugger likes to escape constantly. So hopefully I can get in without him escaping. Ah, you're a troublemaker. I see you, Timo. There she is right there, little Debbie. Look at her go. Oh, they're so cute. We're running out of space, though. <laughs> so I definitely need to uh, figure out what I'm going to do with all of the the different things. I Like, I, I said I wanted to do, like, the uh, player heads and stuff like that, but maybe the people who are giving super thanks don't play Minecraft and they don't have a skin. So we'll really have to figure something out. But for now, I love our little axolotl setup. 
I spent a long time on this, so I'm gonna enjoy it as long as I can. Now, obviously we're not gonna be living here. It took me this long to realize, I was like, hey, do I wanna build a house? Do I wanna build into something? Or do I wanna take over a building near a biome that I like or in a biome that I like? So that biome that we were looking for in the last episode, I actually remembered that there is one right next to the Keep Kyra. And then I was thinking and I was like, hmm, hold on, let me, please tell me, please. Oh, okay, oh geez, I was like, I swear to God, if these didn't save. Okay, I was thinking, I'm like, I love Keep Kyra. I've talked about how much I love Keep Kyra. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful building. Why don't I live in Keep Kyra? That way I can do each room how I want it. I can set up beautiful areas inside of it. I can fly in it because it's so freaking big. Like who needs an elevator? I can fly, <laughs> I can fly in my house. Can you? <laughs> so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I put a mega torch here. And yeah, or a magnum torch, and I guess that's what it's called in, in uh, fabric. But I think we're going to take over Keep Kyra and slowly but surely decorate it to our taste and our liking, or my taste and my liking. And it's right next to that, that biome that I was looking for a bigger version of. Literally right next to Keep Kyra. It's huge. So, I mean, the two birds with one stone there. So that's what we're going to do. This is our new house. We're now taking over the Froggy Temple. I might leave it as a froggy temple, I don't know. We'll see. But the rainbow windows, mm, already. <laughs> already the the Creo taste. <laughs> I'm so sorry if any of the devs of this mod watch this. I'm totally gonna redecorate. When I made such a beautiful building, I just I'm gonna redecorate, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, that's not what we're doing today though. I just wanted to show you guys what the, the idea is, but we are not doing that today. Today, we are going to one of my absolute favorite dungeons. I say this about a lot of them. That's because that's why I don't really rank them too specifically. This is obviously one of them. This next one is definitely up there as well. So we're gonna go there, we're gonna explore. I wanna see how different it is running these big when dungeons arise dungeons in a pack that amplifies the danger, right? The overworld isn't too bad for us now. I'm still scared about the nether and obviously each dimension is exceptionally harder so I'm absolutely terrified of the end. I thought I could just go do that episode of Lith, no problem, nope. <laughs> and I'm still not sure how like classes work and class builds work because again I've never been good with that whole MMO thing so if you guys want to give me some pointers let me know. Um, I'm more of like a melee type person sometimes archery. Uh, I'm definitely not into the magic stuff when it comes to like mage fighting and stuff like that but um yeah this pack definitely makes you think about all of that and it's meant to be replayed with different classes so you're meant to play it all the way to the end and you know kill like the obsidolith which is the last boss and then you're meant to re-roll and restart your world and play again so i don't think we're going to do that in this series i don't think we're going to replay and re-roll and start a new world i think once we're done doing that we'll just I, i'll continue the medieval minecraft series but I want to switch to 1.20. So it's going to be a little bit of like a continuation, but like a 2.0, but we'll have to discuss it later on because I have some ideas. But for now, we are nowhere near that. I still need to figure out what the heck I want to do and, and build. And I mean, <laughs> my ranged crit is insane, but I still enjoy melee, but maybe I will stick to ranged because like, it's definitely a lot stronger than my melee, like significantly. So I'm really gonna have to figure out how I wanna go about that, but that's for another day. Today, we are going, I swear to God, it probably didn't, <laughs> it didn't save. It didn't save. What is the name of the freak? And I don't wanna go clicking around random. It's up here, where is it? What did I, oh, it didn't even save. Oh, it's sleepy time. Oh my god, you scared me. There she is! I get to sleep looking at her! Ugh. Look at that dungeon! And there's a little... I think something kind of got built into the side of it, but... And a rainbow! Oh my god! The rainbow for the rainbow dungeon! Is that, isn't that what I named it? Yep, rainbow dungeon. Ugh, look at that. Perfect timing. So I have done this dungeon in Better Minecraft. I've done this dungeon hundreds of times in my own worlds um, outside of recording. 
We have a friend coming to visit us. Hello, sir. That raven. Oh, no, I can't shoot a raven. I love them too much. Okay, so. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. Are you guys excited? Because I'm excited because I have no idea how different this is going to be in, uh, in this pack. I still see the... Uh, elevation thing happens where the stairs are there and yeah <laughs> yes please come up our stairs um <laughs> I freaking can't I it, it maybe cracks me up every time I see this every single time without fail <laughs> All right, so I guess we're going to... Hello, Raven. I guess we're gonna have to fly up to those stairs. I'm not gonna get distracted with that little structure down there because, oopsie. The V is right next to B, so I, I might accidentally open that every now and then. But uh, yeah, is it working? Yeah, okay. There's so many ways that I could do this dungeon. Go in here, go to the sides, go through, go up. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we're gonna do it. We got everything. All right. And the best part is, I, oh, I, you know what? I don't even need the second backpack on me right now because we have access to our terminal. Hello? Are you guys? I should have wither protection on. Why were they spawning so weird? Why are these spawners acting bizarrely? Hello? Are you guys okay? This one's, oh geez. Hello? The spawners are acting funky. What gives? Oh, I will always love this aquarium. It looks so good. Oh, I love it. Let's go this way. Why not? Hello? Okay, we're not gonna go in there yet. I'm, I'm gonna try not to rush through it too much for those of you that haven't seen this dungeon. However, I also wanna finish the dungeon before the episode's over. Where? I remember there being way more spawners and way more mobs. Am I going crazy? Or is this... Okay, you're gonna see a cut there because I accidentally just, <laughs> I accidentally just closed the world. I meant to do this. Whoops. So my world's still locked on hard. Where the heck are all the mobs? I like, I see them on the mini map. Hello. Oh, there we go. Oh, invisible spiders. Ouch, 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 ouch. You guys hurt? She's the wheeze. Ouch. Okay. Um. Okay, so we're gonna put this here. And we're gonna do, just in case I die. Rainbow, dungeon, up. All right, two. Dang it, two, there we go. So you're gonna see probably another cut there because for whatever reason, when I lo accidentally hit log out and come back and I came back in, 
my terminal wasn't connected anymore so i had to go back rebind it and then come back so if you guys are having that issue i'm not sure why it's doing that um every time you log in you may need to click your terminal with your wireless remote which doesn't make any sense but if that's what's happening you may have to try that out because that's the second time that i've noticed it do that when i first was doing some testing before i started recording and then just now when i accidentally logged out of the world so if you guys notice that that's happening you may have to go back and re-click your uh, your wireless terminal because for some reason that's what's happening and on top of that the spawners are acting very weird so i'm not sure what that's about but yeah who knows who knows what the heck is going on um the dudes are spawning and they're they're kicking my butt but the spawners are acting very weird i'm gonna do a little bit of testing give me one second okay all should be well now i hope i just want to explore i want to see my favorite dungeon or one of my favorite dungeons oh my god i say that about so many things <laughs> i just want to play did I go down here already? Oh, I, I went down here while I was uh, testing out. Okay, there we go. So, let's go up. I think we're gonna do this tower first. We went up here already and that's when I realized things were wonky. Yeah, we already went up here. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, this episode's a mess. I've been logging in and out of the game to figure out what's going on not just with this but with everything else going on do i want to go this ouch where are you oh what was i saying i got distracted <laughs> i was trying to figure things out oh my god okay i'm gonna put torches down i have a bunch of torches with me right yeah um maybe we will go in that area up here not this one, this one over here. This one here. I don't have time to stop and smell the roses, AKA open the chest. Stuff to do, things to do, monsters to boop. Hello, Spooter. Ooh, jeez. house is there a guy in here hello oh it's so nice to have this oh i love it it makes looting these giant dungeons so much better hello i see you all on the mini map Hello, Spooter. Are you coming? Thank you. Wish you could hold more than 64 torches. That'd be nice. Ooh, I wonder if I should do the thing where I protect it from damage. I don't really think I'm gonna be living here or anything, so. Hello. Oh man, these relics and stuff keeping me safe because it is such a pain in the butt to deal with these guys without wither or fire protection. So in here, is it in this one? It's in one of these. I think it's, whoa, geez, in the middle one. This thing here? One of them has netherite. Why is my, there it is, or not netherite, ancient debris. Oh, I keep forgetting that I don't need, I don't need my ax because, oops, because my pickaxes are just as good. So I think what I might do is put an extra water on my hotbar. Oh my God, I keep hitting all the wrong buttons. Get rid of my axe, so not get rid of it, but put it in my bag. And then grab another water. 
Because these work like axes. Because for whatever reason, they're just insane. Hello. Um. Okay. All the cute little heads. You always know when you're in a Wind Dungeons and Rise dungeon because they have all the cutest little mini heads or whatever they are, mini blocks. Ooh, hello, gold. Nope. Oh, you guys got a lot of health, I can tell. I'm gonna put this here because I know we're gonna get snuck up on. For whatever reason, soul torches, or soul torches, soul lanterns or whatever, don't seem to give a lot of light. Hello. <clears throat> In these stairs, I think there's diamonds as well, but I don't want to spend time digging the stairs up because this place is freaking massive and we have our normal amount of recording time. Get rid of that. Whoa, calm down. While you guys are busy with each other, I'm gonna take care of that. Try to get the... Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh crap. Where's the other guy? Where'd you go, dude? Did I get you all? No, nope, there's a creeper over here somewhere. Where's the creeper? Oh, I am never gonna get sick of this wireless controller. Oh, hello. I hear you, Stinky. Ooh, what's this? An enchanted paladin helmet. I really wish I was good with like the whole, you know, stats and MMO builds and stuff because that seems to be such a huge part of this pack. And I'm just playing it like it's a normal modded Minecraft pack, but it's really not. Oh, jeez, you scared me. What did he cast on me? Sinking. Oh, it's sleepy time. I'm just trying to not run because my water is going down so quick. But I'm a bunny hopper and that's a really bad thing <clears throat> for a mod pack that has dehydration. <laughs> Okay, so this middle building here, do we want to go in there? That's where all the goodies are, but... Do I want to deal with those guys right now? I don't know how bad they're going to be. Oh my god, I'm going to keep hitting V and B simultaneously. Trying to get rid of these so I don't get overwhelmed and swarmed, which I will. Put some lights up. Any more? Okay, so this building, I'll let you in a little secret. Other than the goodies that are in the middle there. Above us, in the obsidian roof, I will show you. First, we'll take care of this. Hello. Let's grab all of this stuff. Now, up above us, I should probably actually grab some blocks to show you guys this. If I'm remembering correctly, unless it's been removed. Aha! So if you dig from this middle room up, see all that, that shiny goodness up there? There's a whole bunch of them. You get eight of them. 
so yeah just dig from this area here oh i love it i remember finding that because i was just being nosy i just wanted to like dig up the roof because i wanted the obsidian and all of a sudden i came across a whole bunch of freaking ancient debris and i was in love and then i tried to remember it every time i've been here and sometimes i remember sometimes i don't there's all kinds of stuff hidden in the trees you guys can get oh i forgot about the leaves oh sugar oh sugar i don't nope 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 I forgot in this the leaves you can't stand on them let me back up I'm not ready to go back down there okay so let's clear out the top first so I don't think there's anything in there and this side is pretty much identical I'm gonna need to remove that off my hot bar and actually maybe I'll put a third water Because this is just identical to the other one, but I don't want to go there yet. I want to clear up here first. Isn't there another one in here? So oh my god, I almost did the same thing with the leaves. <laughs> there it is. Give me all the goodies. I think that's it for these. There's also the side towers over there, but I forget how to get up to them. And there's there over there as well. Wait, a witch? Did I not light this up good enough? Nope. You guys are stinkies. Okay, let's go to the other side. And we'll just clear this top part here. Hi, stinky butts. I'm giving a tour of, my, of this beautiful dungeon. Do you mind? Hello, hello, hello. Yo 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 yo! Nope, 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 nope. Don't like you. Oh my god. He, oops, he just effed my world right up. Gonna get rid of these spawners. Hello. Nice to see you. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just going through and getting spawners. Don't mind me. And this. Bye. This place would be an absolute heck hole any earlier than now. Good gravy. Hello. Let's see what our melee is like. Not the best. Nowhere near as good as our bow. So maybe I will stick to being... The problem with being <clears throat> ranged like that is that some bosses you can't do all ranged with. I think you can with the Obsidolith. I think I used a bow on him in better ends. I don't remember. But I just want to make sure my melee is kind of catching up. Oopsie, oopsie. So let's just take a look really quickly. Let's add some in here. Oh! Wait! Our attributes are reset again. Our combat stats aren't, but our attributes are. Um, I'm gonna have to go back 
into my videos and see what these were set to. Huh. All right, time to add that to the notepad because those were really, really, really high. Not really high, but they were definitely like, one of them was 30, like, no, okay. Fix stat reset. It happened once before, so I had to go back before that video and fix it and catch up to what it was before. I don't know why the stats reset like that. It doesn't make any sense to me, but I guess I'm gonna have to go and do a little bit of research and figure out what the heck they were before. That's a, that is a pain in the butt. I think what I'm gonna do when I get them back to where they were, I'm gonna write them down on my notepad so I don't have to search through my videos to um, see what they were. Cause that's really annoying. Like, but what I don't understand is my combat stats are all where they were. Like my crit, all of this is insane. But all of these are not. And like these got to that, the these got to those percentages because of this. And because of stuff that I've added to my, my weapons and stuff, but Hmm. That's very weird. We're just gonna put this into luck and then I'll do some into strength. Is that? Okay, it's not. Yeah, because like my max health, hmm. That's very weird. I'm definitely gonna have to go in and tinker with that because I know at least our, uh, whatchamacallit, what is it called? The luckiness was at least 30 because I was told to get that up to 50 if you can. And I remember that being at least 30. So if somebody knows why that's resetting, can you please let me know? That's driving me bonkers. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy. Hello. So I guess we're going to do this dungeon without our uh, other stats, which kind of sucks. Back up with my hamburger. <laughs> That's not how that works. Man, these pickaxes are so good. I knew I should have checked too because like, like I said, it happened before, but oh, I don't know. I don't know why it happens. That's the problem. And I'm not changing origins or anything like that, so... I don't understand. And I didn't, uh... do the refund skill points thingamabob either. Unless there's monsters nearby, but where? I guess below me. There we go. I keep eating and drinking before bed. That's not good. <laughs> Shouldn't do that in real life either. Oh my God. Why is my, oh my God. So many things. I'm definitely excited to see what the 1.20 version is like. Oh, I think I mean need to turn down. Test, test. Yep, I do. I need to turn down, where is it? It is. Is it explosion? No. It is firework. I think that's the one. Test again. Nope. That is not the one. Flash. 
There we go. My eyeballs no likey. Oh! Forgot about the invisible boys. Jeez Louise. Keep your floating axe of doom away from me. Oh, hello. Oh, you're the guy I was expecting to see. That's right. No. No touchy. There's a whole thing in the middle here, too. Hold on. How do I... Wait. Isn't there, like, a thing up there? Yeah, here. I am never gonna get sick of that. Hello? Housekeeping! Hello, invisible boy. Whoa, forgot I had wings on. <clears throat> this bow is everything. Hello, stinkies. I see you. on those. Those are a little slow there, dudes. Ah, this is the tower I was thinking of with the, with the spawners in it. I guess each side is different. you bud you should thank him and then there's always a chest in here loving it loving it loving it oh i know <laughs> i'm gonna keep hitting that twice oh my god I've missed the music in this, though. Oh, you can get diamonds from breaking those? I didn't know that. Hello? Oh, you're a boss. Or, you were a boss. Not a boss, but a... Oh, this is attached to- oh! Huh. Okay. Let me go. Can I- oh no. There you are. I saw the yellow name before. Have to get rid of all the random junk. So many icons. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Okay. We did this tower. So now we are gonna go. That's the two bigger towers done. Oh, I need to rebind that key to something else because I'm gonna keep hitting it. We've been here. Hello. 
Hello. So I guess, which way do I want to go? Oh. Do you mind? God, natural spawns in these places are the worst. Like, it's literally why I used to put magnum torches down, because they'll just spawn everywhere, because you can't light it up. It's kind of why I wish Torchmaster was uh, on fabric, so I could just put down the feral flare lanterns. Um, do we want to do this? Yeah, let's go up here first. I'm not going to go up there because there's just stuff behind there that's just hallways. I'm going to the food area. Oh my god, the heads. Must fight Urge. Oh my god, there's so many of them! I need them all. What is that shuffling sounds? Oh, it's you. Get your stinky germs away from me. Now well, there's usually chests and stuff hidden in the grounds around here. Oh, geez Louise. Give that poor cow a break, dang. Oh, you're what I'm hearing. Oh yeah, there's one here. There should be one over here somewhere. Where is it? Oh. I want to go over there, but... Go down this way first. Oh yeah, this just goes into this giant... Oh my god, this area is insane. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, he's carrying an orchid! My favorite Minecraft flower! Oh, actually my favorite flower, period. There's all kinds of chests hidden everywhere, like in here, and then over there. This is how we're going to get up to that area above us. There's a water vader, I love bubble vader thing there. There's a chest there. And there's a chest or barrel or whatever. I'm going to call them those things divine leggings. Can deflect a hit once in a while. Shield of Infinity Leggings. Oh my god, we have so many things to look at. Okay, let's go up the Bubble Vader. Is that what it's called? Bubble Vader? Oh! Very... poorly. Grab that. God, it's such a beautiful build. Like... Oh, I love this. I love this place so much. Again, like what I said in Keep Kyra, I just want to know what goes through their heads when they think of these builds. Like, where do you come up with these ideas? Is it inspired by something? Like, this kind of looks like the Taj Mahal a little bit? Is it the Taj Mahal that I'm thinking of? I can't remember what that beautiful building is. I mean, Taj Mahal is freaking beautiful, but I don't know if that's the, the building I'm thinking of. All right, let's wait up here until it's sleepy time. What's that? Blood root. Okay. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. So, um, again, in the Better Minecraft series, the last episode, it was one of the last episodes, I wanted to go and uh, do the apiary in in the end, which is, or apiary, aviary in the end, which is insane, even on Better Minecraft. I can't even imagine doing it in this pack. Like, oh my god. <laughs> It's insane, even without all the boosting damage things and the numbers and the doohickeys and flimflams and oh my god. Oh, hello, Zarptak. All right, let's go down. But we will see. I mean, if our freaking skills keep getting reset, one day I'm going to like think I'm super strong and then all of a sudden I'm not because all my stuff got reset again. There should be a barrel here, yes. There should be one in the wall over there. Oh, and gold. Thank you. Oh, 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 no, and I pressed my back. <laughs> See what I mean? Like the B and the V are so close together. Hello. Ah, my pickaxe is freaking insane. So is my bow. Hello. All right, let's go over here. Go to the library. Oh, I love this room. Look at the books. Ouch, 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 ouch. Stop smacking me with knowledge. I read enough books. Pretty sure this chest doesn't have anything in- oh, it does. Okay, maybe I was just unlucky before. That cow is freaking me out. So as you can see, this kind of spawned in a bit wonkily. There's always a chest under here, so don't forget that. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I swear I'll change it, okay? Just not now. I don't want to spend time with keybinds because I've already had to fiddle with way too much this episode. The slumbering lich blade? Ooh. Interesting. We're going to have to take a look see at that. That is a legendary weapon right there. We also have the, I believe, the legendary bow from the end. So I'm definitely going to have to juice up my stuff. Maybe I can use those. I know there's a guide that's posted in the uh, Lunapixel Discord for Medieval Minecraft, so I'm going to see if any of the legendary weapons are good to use. Uh-oh, here they come smacking me with knowledge again. Ugh! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I just bit my lip. Ouch. And we're going to have to go home and get some water soon because we are almost out of water. Hey, you keep your dirty grimies away from me. Oh, I forgot to get the, uh, I forgot to get the spawner from the other side too. Oops. Oh well. Oh, we can't. Oh, there's the chest or the barrel that was hidden that I thought about before. So, getting up into this is going to be fun. Because I can't jump on the freaking leaves. There you go. I'm not going to spend time collecting heads right now. Because we still. What's this? Soul Fist. Soul fists or gauntlets? Oh, great gemstones. Interesting. Very cool. Which way did they come from? Over there, right? Hello. 
Okay. Grab that. Man, those giant palladium. Is that is that how you palladium? Pa pa palladium. Like paladin, I guess. But you guys know me in pronouncing things. I'm probably going to end up screwing it up. But that's okay. Because, you know what? I'm not perfect. What? Hello. Oh, and see invisible little stinkies. Where'd the invisible one go? Where'd the little invisible baby go? Did I miss anything? No. Do I even want to try this again? Okay. <laughs> we didn't find that time. What the heck? Grab you. Man, it's fall here, but... It still gets so hot in this room. Good grief. I am sweating already. Okay. Um, so we've done this, this. We've done these. We've done these. What am I missing? I need... Oh, yeah. I need to go... Is it here? Yeah, there's... I don't think there's anything in there though. There are smaller ones with like uh, connections to the roof. And also these side rooms. Oh, we've already been here. It's just because I didn't light it up. Uh, before we do the rest of it though, I want to head home. Where did I put the other waste on? It was in one of these side rooms, right? Are these the main stairs? Oh. Sir, I am trying to make a decision. Oh, I didn't do this area here either. Okay, I need to get some water first. Is that where I put the waste stone? No, it's on the other side. It's over there. No, it isn't. Wait. What? I don't remember where my freaking waystones are. That's fine, though, actually, because we need to go back to the other area anyways. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to fill up my water. And I don't even have to say I'll bring you guys back because I don't need to empty my bags. My bags are beautifully emptied already into the goodness, and I'm just going to do this really quickly. Okay, let's go back and explore the rest of the dungeon. I wonder if I can make some more flasks. Oh, can I, um... Oh, I love how there's refined storage-like controls. Oh, interesting. Okay, I want REI sync church. Church? Synced search. There we go. Uh, leather flask. Okay, let's do, I guess, two more? And then we'll do iron. Wait. 
they're literally right here and then golds I don't think we're going to be able to why am I getting the achievements now when I literally already have these achievements I did this already what is happening did my achievements get reset too Uh, I don't think we're going to have enough. Mm, we might have enough to do one. Oh, actually, I have ancient debris. What am I talking about? Where's my... Uh-oh. Where's my smithing table? Beautiful. I'll take that. There we go. And we'll fill these up so we have even more water. I wish there was like a bigger one, you know? Actually, I might fill it up for when we come back, if we have to today. I don't think we're going to with the all of the water that we have, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Put that there. All right, let's go back. So where haven't we been? We haven't been up top. I want to know what that building is. I guess it's a pillager building. There should be chests over here. Right there. Oh, and we haven't been up in those either. We need to get up in here. Hello. So many looties. Is there still a chunk of, no. Maybe I'm misremembering that too. <laughs> There's just so many things to remember about all the dungeons. There should be a chest in here somewhere. But I saw. I hear shuffles. Um, the other side should have anything over here yes there it is block of gold I guess just one side has it and the other one doesn't <clears throat> we do need to get up to one of those uh, the towers that are up there though I'm just trying to remember if I've forgotten anything. Oh. Is there one over here? They're very sneaky with those barrels. Oh, yep, right here. So it's kind of like mirrored, which is nice. So for people like me who like things that kind of mirror each side or like a match, that's good. Um, I guess I could just fly up. 
Because I don't remember how to get there by foot. It's one of these towers over here. This tree also, one of these trees, maybe the blue one, purple one. One of them has diamond in it. Yeah, there it is. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Why is it? Why is it? Did I already pick it up? Nope. There it is. And I don't think the other one has anything in it. I could be wrong, though. So these here... How do you even get to these? Like... Oh. Oh, hello. So this tower here... Yes, there it is. You go across here and you'll see this, like, stem. Break the stem and there's a chest behind it. And then if you go down... Ow. Oh! Oh my god! Anywho's, under the stairs, there's a chest that the creeper almost blew up. <laughs> Little jerk. Yeah, it's these two towers I was thinking of. I don't think there's anything in this one. No, I don't think so. What a little stinker. Fennec Fox! Hold on. I have just the thing for you, my friends. Hi! Oh, and a tortoise? Okay, I'll take you too. And collect you all for my zoo. Oh, he went into his shell! Oh. Okay. I'll take you guys home and keep you safe. Now, where am I? 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 I am here, so we need to go over there. Ouch. Oh, there's going to be a surprise in this one, too. Unless he's not in here. Is he in here? No. So where are you guys? Are you just spawning in the area below? What's oh, raining? Oh, it's raining right here. But it's not raining right here. But it's- that's so cool! It's really neat to see that in real life, too. I think we've done everything, if I remember correctly. That's so fun! Eee! I love it. Um, let's go check this out. What's this? Yeah, I think that's the whole dungeon. I'm just trying to remember. We've done all the towers. We did all the side rooms. Mm. We missed the one side with uh, the uh, the other food area. So we did... Was it that side or was it the other side? Nope, it was the other side. hiding out in the corner. Yeah, there's the gold blocks. And there should be all the chests that are in here. And the stinkies that are over there. Oh yeah, I remember they made a change where not every chest was going to have loot in it.
That is a lot of cows. stuck in the leaves, but I can't walk. <laughs> you guys are right there. There you go. Be free from your... There are so many... Gold block there. Is there a chest over here somewhere? Or a barrel? I keep calling them chests, but you know what I mean. There... I'm pretty sure that there's some... Yeah, right here. I didn't see one on the other side, though. There we go. Oh, I think we need to go down below here as well. Oh, I've missed my lava bucket. I don't think there's... Was there anything down here? Other than a... There are a lot of gold blocks. Holy cow. Just giving the gold away. All right, I think that's it. That was Shiraz Palace. I keep calling it the Rainbow Dungeon, but it's called Shiraz Palace. So pretty. Lots of, you know, building blocks and stuff you guys can grab. Lots of wool. All kinds of goodies. Let's go down and see these guys. Hello. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Um, I'm stuck in quicksand. Help. I thought I was lagging for a second. I'm like, what is happening? Let's check out these cool little buildings. You guys know that your water is spilling out everywhere? Hold on. How can I fix this? Um. Help! This is really annoying. Where is this coming from? What is this broken water? What the? Okay, well, I'm leaving that there. back at our villager trading things i will take that though and this thank you oh but there's no fishies in there where's all your fishies Ooh, is that the floor made of lapis that's blue concrete but the other thing was lapis man you guys got a fancy house if you got something made out of lapis dang oh hi oh you're so cool Hi! Creo forever fangirling over the automatrons or automatons or whatever the heck they're called. Oh, there's another one! Hey, buddy! What's this? Oh, it's the alchemy table. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh! The villages are so much more cool with all this modded stuff. Oh, oops, oops. I meant to grab this. Oh my god, I'm grabbing all the things I don't want. These freaking pickaxes are wild. I'm glad the banner issues are fixed, by the way. Oh, there's lapis everywhere. I mean, I don't really need lapis. I'm not hurting for it, but like, come on. Oh, that's, that's not lapis. Fooled me. Fooled me twice. Dang, They're, it's like just intermingled with like all of the, whoa, if you guys find this village and you need lapis, take a close look at the floor. Dang. 
How much lapis? Is it lapis lazuli or lapis lazuli? I'm sure somebody will know. Oh, there goes my arrow. Did I just get a thing for the door? Oops. Oh, actually, we should be turning in our quests because we have some, oh, maybe not. Just the dehydration one. Maybe this wasn't in when we made these before? Ooh, ooh. Do we want a sapphire apple or an aqua, aqua uh, words, aquamarine fish? I'm gonna go for the apple. What does the apple do? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> my throat jesus that apple's wild okay can you make those how do you spell sapphire hmm. with sapphire block of sapphire smelting sapphire ore overworld generation Zero percent. Okay, well that doesn't do me any good. Dang, really rare ore. Okay. Shows that it spawns in the overworld with zero percent. I'm gonna be going home with a butt ton of lapis. These guys are gonna be coming home to holes in their floors. I'm sorry. I just, I need it. Okay, I don't know why I need it, but I need it. Oh, you got, um, all your automaton automatons are stuck under, um, can I help you guys get out? There, can you get out? Or are you stuck because of this and your big heads? Can you get out now? Yeah, you should be able to get out now. Look at these names! Twinkle, the Iron Giant, Imperial Decimator. Oh man, how come you guys have so many automaton automatons? I want one. Okay. I have made a fall. I wasn't done looking. Rude. What's this? Hey, BB. Ooh, tempted, but not, mm, not going to. I haven't even been paying attention to my food. I've been too busy like humming and hawing over the villager houses. I saw another building in this area that I want to go look at. There's another village actually over there. Maybe they'll have some more goodies. Oh, that is not a rocket. That is a piece of stone. Bye Rainbow Dungeon. I'll be back for the heads. But I have a village over here to go look at. Actually, I'll take this. Thank you. Hello. Ooh. You guys got quite the view over there, you know? I don't want to start swinging my pickaxe with you right there, but you're going to rock my world if I do that. These are such good little things to find if you're just starting out in the game. There's so much loot. I, um, I love how we can walk through leaves, but... All of these derps get stuck. 
Like, are you guys okay? Oh my god. So many villagers! Um... You guys alright? Having a, a struggle there? Ding ding ding! Did I put my... I did. Like an absolute dork. No, I didn't. Where's my sleeping bag? Did I just not pick up my sleeping bag? Oh, well, I guess I'll just make another one. I'd like to know why, whenever I log out, that I have to go and reconnect my, um, my wireless controller to my storage system. It's actually kind of frustrating because if I forget and I go somewhere and then I need my thing, I, <laughs> uh, big sag. All right, so I think for the rest of the episode, I'm going to go over to keep Kyra and I'm going to start clearing out some of the rooms and we're just going to chat because I don't want to start anything too crazy and big right now because <laughs> I don't have that much more recording time and I don't want this episode to be stupid long. So we are going to go over there and I have to figure out how I'm going to light it up because obviously Torchmaster isn't in this. But I mean, I guess with the Magnum Torch, it isn't really crazy, crazy important. But I do need to get the heads and stuff like that as well. Because I had all that stuff that I didn't collect while I was looting this place. Just let this load in a little bit so it doesn't give me any issues. Actually, let's start with the upstairs. Um. Okay. I mean, we can just fly because this place is freaking huge. So let's go here and we'll grab the heads that were oh nope 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 wrong side um yeah there were heads in these back rooms right there was like all those little oh it's because i named it top of keep <laughs> oops <laughs> I was like, wait, I swore I had them here. What the heck? Where's all that? Oh, there's one here. What is that? It looks like a crown. There they are. There's one there, one there. What are those? Oh, a cactus and an orange or something? Show. Back to the other side, and then I really want to go get those. Oh my gosh, I didn't get a good chance to really look at the the ones downstairs as we were just zipping through. Oh, I can't wait to go. Some of them are so crazy cool. It's always funny to come back to the aftermath of looting. <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh so much. Just, like tore through the place. I don't know why, like bunny hopping just makes it so much more enjoyable. Okay, so let's go down to here. Mm. Oh, I still really love how that looks. It's so cool. I thought I just heard a baddie. Like there should be no baddies here. There's heads over there, right? But not up there? Okay. These heads. These little pool table balls and stuff. Ooh, and the dye. Ooh, that color's so pretty. What's that supposed to be? Is this like snooker balls? 
kind of what they look like. Very cool how they can make them look rounded like that, though. What's that? A spider? That's a potion. That's a, one of those slime bugs. Hmm. That's a little slime. That looks like a crown. That's a cake. That's another cake. Alcohol, maybe? Maybe these are drinks and not cake, because this is around a bar. Maybe I'm just imagining. There's a barrel, tomato. I don't know what that is. I wish they would be named. What is that? Oh my gosh, the player heads. I do need to find another like mushroom village thing because they have the little rainbow heads. Oh, I forgot a chest. Let me see. Yeah, here, these little rainbow player heads. Oh, there's so many, so many heads. Okay, so we got all of those. Oh man. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all these friggin' rooms and areas, but it definitely gives me like a good template. I think it's a, a lot easier for me to like figure out what I wanna do when there's a bit of a template. Like in Better Minecraft, I know I keep comparing all my series, but it's like the only thing I can really think of. So, like with that, I had the, um, the hill to build into and things like that, but yeah, this one gives me a little more I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Framage? Framework to work with? What's this? That's not really like a, oh, maybe it's not snooker. Maybe it's like a board game of some sort. It's so like, now I can actually come through here and just kind of figure out what's going on. Barely, I'm sure. Give me all these heads. I loves them. I do have to go back to the bandit towers too and grab the heads from there. These these pickaxes are freaking wild. Oh my god. There's an eight ball. I love how they did this with the the uh, carpet. I think those are signs. Yeah, to make them look like pool cues. That's really creative. Um, do I want to go here? I don't think there were any in this area. Were there or did I collect them all? I don't know. <clears throat> I think most of them are in that like library-ish area. Yeah, in this area. Ooh, there they are. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. A little fishy. What is that? Why does it remind me of Terraria? Sacks of paper, maybe? More books. Oh, a chest I missed. Oh, this one's cool. Book, book. I don't know why this is so satisfying. I guess because it normally takes forever to break these. So many player heads. I gotta think of like a really like kind of like mood lighty type style to light this up with. Is there elevators in this? I don't even remember. There are. Of course elevators. Interesting. Seeing if I missed any loots. Let's go see the froggy. I'm definitely gonna keep the froggy though. He's cool. Is there anything up here? Oh, I don't think I can. <laughs> nope. Maybe there's not, if you can't get up there. I want to break him. 
More books. That is absolutely wild. I just broke the table. Oh well. That's fine. Because this is modded. Oh, actually, does this even have like tables and stuff? Oh, it does. I don't need any of these. I can actually put tables in here. I always get confused at what decor mods are where. Oh my god, this pick. I have to like lightly tap my mouse or I'm going to take out the entire floor. Oh, I missed one. Ooh, what's this one? Hmm. Ooh, that one's pretty. Very cool. Bookhead collecting. Gosh, you really don't- oh, it's a chest. You really don't realize how many are really in here until you go around and collect all of them. Holy guacamole. So many. And I didn't even, like, go in these side areas. This is insane. So many heads. But it's so cozy. You can almost like smell it, you know, like how an old library smells. It's exactly how I picture this being. That or it could smell like frogs. Who knows? I prefer the, the former. do over there? I think I did, right? Oh. oh, I see a chest. Man, I did miss some stuff. I was expecting to like run into something, but then I remembered I have a magnum torch or is it? Ma yeah, it's magnum torch in this. I'm going to interchangeably be calling them magnum and mega because in all the mods, they are mega torches and they are magnum torches in this. So I'm probably going to call them different things. Same, same idea though. So many books, so many books. Can you place books in this? Let's see. It says you can. Yes! Oh, I love how cool that looks. Oh, ripped the floor. <clears throat> so this pickaxe is wild and just destroyed my floor, but that's okay. I'll fix it later. Like in all the mods where my axe destroyed half of the house I was taking over because it had chainsaw on it. That's always fun. Oh, missed all of this. Oh my god. <laughs> How is this pick better than an actual axe? Like, oh, there's the froggy head! That's so freaking wild. All right. Crazy. So crazy. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I am so happy that we got to do that dungeon today and I'm looking forward to what else this pack has in store for us. So if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.